search, make sure, try not to put anything in spots on my car. How are ya? Hello. All right, how you doing? I think I'm doing uh, American Airlines. Thank you. You have a beautiful voice. It was nice. All right. My flight isn't until six. And I'm here definitely way too early, but I got work to do, stuff to edit. And uh, so I got like six and a half hours. Sometimes when you get here that early, there's nobody in line. Go figure. Should I do this first? All right. I'd rather deal with you than that machine, let me tell you. Here we go. Uh, last name is Domic. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to, from here to Charlotte to Buffalo. All right, have a great day, guys. Lucked out there that this plane allows carry-on on the way down here. I wasn't allowed to have a carry-on, so I had to check it. And if I was six hours early, they can't check your bag. Obviously, it makes sense. So I would have been stuck in this part of the airport if I had to check my bag. But uh, because this is a carry-on, easy. Um, this, the plane was so small, I guess, on the JetBlue. Or JetBlue just wanted to nickel and dime me to that. I don't know. All gates. Well, that's kind of cool. Southern grounds, I guess a coffee shop. Look at all these rockers. Standard passenger. How you doing today? Thanks. Oh, all right. Thank you. First in line. Love it. Thank you. Laptop have to come out? Is that something new or? They got new machines now. You don't have to take your laptop and stuff out of the bag anymore. Just throw it all through at the same time. So it looks like we got uh, Auntie Anne's, Firehouse Subs, Saboro, Starbucks. We got lots of choices. So my gate is at the very end on the right, but over here is uh, River City Travel Mart. We got another Firehouse Subs. Over here we got the PGA Tour Grill and then another Starbucks. So let's check out their menu if they have one. This, oh, there's one. Just to see. Just to see. See if there's anything we might eat in about an hour and a bit. They've got burgers, mahi-mahi. Hmm. We'll have to think about that, maybe come back. Yeah, I still got like another six hours before I need to start lining up there. Uh, I like those little planes. They're all fun to be in. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of time in this airport. Let's find somewhere to sit, work, get some stuff done. We're headed down to uh, Terminal A. This is Insight and they have a burger fly. Let me know if you guys like or dislike that place. I think there's a few other places down at this end. Oh, check that out, Angie Subs. Looks like a surf shop. And then, uh, what is that place? Oh, Southern Grounds Coffee Shulas. If they have, I'm just kind of looking for a really nice spot to sit down and work. guys it is one o'clock in the afternoon i've got about five hours before i have to get on my plane uh, 
I got to um, edit tomorrow morning's vlog, upload it, uh, get the thumbnail done, have it all ready for you guys for tomorrow. Uh, and then I also have to get the first show of me going down to uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Got to get that edited and uploaded as quickly as I can. So I need to try and get all that done in the next five hours. So. Uh, this terminal is, I think it goes from A to C, and uh, it looks like it's um, American Airlines and Southwest. I'm not sure what other airlines are in here, if there's even other terminals for departures, but it's one long kind of curved airport, and uh, they've got lots of newsstands and, and merch stuff that you can buy. Down that way is where my gate is, where I'm leaving, and then down this way, well, look, you can buy some gear there and this is where the entrance was way down this way we got a few more restaurants uh, there's a burger fi let me know in the comments below if you've been to a burger fi if you think it's any good oh there's a the club jacks and a pet relief service area like i said there's burger fi here i'll have to do a review on that one day for sure and then here's truly hard seltzer. They got a little, a couple of pop-up bars like that in this in this terminal. And there's nothing really going on that way. I think there's one more thing down there. Uh, got more shopping stuff. But what I found down here, and I was already sitting there for a little bit, getting uh, some editing done. And uh, while I was there, I looked at their menu. It's called the PGA Tour Grill. And it looks like they got some cool stuff on the menu. I think that is gonna be our destination today for eating. Let's go check it out. So there's the PGA Tour Grill. There's a Starbucks right beside it if you want coffee. River City Travel Mart and another Firehouse Subs. We got one at this end, one at the other end. And there's no more restaurants down there. So you're pretty limited to the sit down type restaurants, but you also have the type of food courts and stuff and then right here is another one of those little pop-up bars. You can get like sandwiches, water, and alcohol. They have beer, wine, and a few other things. It's called Vino Volo. Oh yeah, that's right. We saw one of those at one of the other big airports. So this is like a small pop-up one of those. But I am interested in the food they have at the PGA Tour Grill. Let me know in the comments below. This is one of those places that uh, there's multiple restaurants like this, or is this the only one? They've made it just for this airport. They've got this chicken, grilled chicken quesadilla. That's the approach on the green. Clubhouse Creations. Grilled mahi mahi sandwich, man. I don't know. Fish and chips. Lots of awesome stuff. This is all the beer and spirits and wine and stuff on tap. They serve breakfast till 9.30, but it is now 3.16. Hot bacon and avocado. That's all oh, that's the flatbread one. I think we'll go with the grilled mahi-mahi. Again, let me know in the comments below what you guys would choose. Just don't choose the stain. That's, just don't choose the stain. What What is your number one thing that you like? The mahi salad. The mahi salad? Mahi. I, was, I was thinking about the mahi mahi sandwich. That's good too. Yeah? yeah same mahi. Okay, same mahi. All right, I, I'll do that, please. Okay, you want fries, chips, or side salad? Uh, I'm gonna do fries. Thank you very much. You get anything else? Uh, looks good. Thanks. Ooh, smells fantastic. Check out that grilled mahi mahi yeah. sandwich with that artisan bun. The mahi mahi lying underneath those crispy golden fries. We've got a nice sauce to go along with the tartar sauce and arugula. And I see a tomato. Let's bite it, see if it's any good. Let's take out the skewer, put that off to the side somewhere. I'm, I'm guessing it'd be best. Let's try these fries first. Okay. Kind of tastes like uh, frozen french fries. 
let you make it home. Let's take this lid off. Mm. Toasted buns. <laughs> the smell of the fish is uh, strong. I want to uh, kind of possibly flip her over. That's, a, that's actually a pretty big piece of fish. Very large chunk of mahi ma Wow. It's steaming. It's nice and hot. Let's put some of that there. Some of that there. Then we'll spread it around. There we go. I think that's good enough. Put the, put the bottom back on. Look at it. It's almost big enough that I won't be able to bite it. Oh, there's onion on there too. Nice. Okay, guys. Cheers to Jacksonville. Thanks for all the great food. It's so big. Wow. Very nice and flaky. Definitely savory. You can taste that salt. And the way they grilled it, you can actually taste the grill. Which makes it taste like you did it in your own backyard. A little backyard grilling. I like the artisan bun. Mm. I'm not sure if they did anything with the fish beforehand, but it looks nice and charred a little bit. Mmm. I think I picked the right thing. All the goo is coming out, all the drippings. It's, it's landing on my knife, which is good, because then I can just put it right back on. I should be letting this drip onto my fries. That's what we should be doing. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna make my fries taste even better. As I bite it, everything's sliding out the back. So I gotta rotate and attack from behind. Ooh la la. That fish is beautiful. Oh my God. It's like they grilled it and then smothered it with butter and lemon and then grilled it some more. Yeah. That is perfect. I'm glad there's onion and tomato on it too. The arugula is a nice touch. Just got a water. Still keeping off the pop and beer. Mm. They also season the fish really well. Every bite, I'm tasting that salty goodness. Just sit where you like, sir. But you can taste that. Uh, it's almost like they definitely put some lemon on there or something. Mm -hmm. I probably won't eat all the fries. They're not the best fries I've ever had. If they're phenomenal fries, I'd eat them all. But they're not. So I'm not gonna waste. Everything tasting okay? Uh, very good, thank you very much. Great recommendation. Good. Very friendly staff. I've been here since uh, 11.30 this morning and it's now 3.41. I pretty much sat over there, but as the sun is moving around, it started making that area hot and it was the lighting was gonna get all affected for the camera. So I moved over here. Mm. I can't believe I used to hate tomato. Now I love it. Anybody out there on the internet who possibly used to hate tomato that loves it now. I love it on burgers. 
I still can't take a tomato and bite it like an apple. That to me is still icky. But uh, on sandwiches or mixed with stuff, sa uh, salads and things, it tastes great. Oh. Every bite is heaven. And the artisan bun is very nice. I'm glad it was toasted and grilled or buttered and grilled. Everything they've done with this has added to the awesome experience. It is messy though. Get extra napkins. All right, guys, I am loving this grilled mahi-mahi sandwich so much. I'm gonna have to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out to all you amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This last amazing bite is just for you. Mm. That's so good. I could eat another one of those. That's how good it was. I'll just have to wait until I come back. Let's try some ketchup with those fries, see if that helps. Give it a shot anyway, right? Pepper up your ketchup. Let's take a couple fries, dip it, oops. It's not helping. The fries at the uh, island wing place were way better. Sorry, PGA Tour. Grill, you gotta up your uh, fry game if you want to compete with the big boys. Might know a lot about golf. I sure don't know anything about french fries. But the sandwiches are great. And that's all I can do. Like I said, the fries aren't that great. If they were better, I would definitely eat them all. But they're not, so I won't. I'm gonna pay the bill, get some work done, and then we're gonna be jumping on a flight at six o'clock to Charlotte, North Carolina. And then from there, we're gonna get some more food and then fly to Buffalo for our final destination. So there is the bill for the PGA Tour Grill, $3.99 for the coffee, $18.99 for the sandwich, $4.94 tip plus tax, everything in, $29.64. US. It's almost 5.30, my plane departs at six. So thanks to the uh, PGA Tour grill for letting me hang out in there for six hours. But I've been here since 11.30, got a vlog all done, edited, and I started working on uh, the first, uh, I guess it's the Texas Roadhouse, the sun's in the way, isn't it? The Texas Roadhouse video, got about halfway through that. Now I gotta get down to where my plane it is actually I'm trying to get to that washroom over there because the one down that way is closed. Now it's time to head down to the gate, C-10, jump on our American Airlines plane, fly to Charlotte, North Carolina for dinner. There's a couple places I was looking at, not sure exactly what I want to eat yet, but uh, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> 